What's up, you guys? Thank you for jumping into another video. Today we are doing, I always go, another video as I talk into the mic. Today we are doing kind of a vintage pack opening. So we got Ruby and Sapphire packs, which I've actually never opened before. And these are the Spanish variants of them. They're a lot easier to find. Um, but I grabbed 10 of them for you guys. So I hope we can pull something decent. The sets that you, or the cards that you want out of the set, are honestly any of the EX cards. Any hollows are solid too. But you want um, Mewtwo EX is the top card in this set. You have like Scyther EX. Um, there's a Sig Waylord Hollow that I'd be happy to get. There's a lot of fun cards. So we're just going to get into it. And I hope we can pull something decent out of 10 packs. So I'll see you guys. I'm wearing a Godzilla shirt. And if you look, the green screen makes it blurred out. And it looks orange with Magikarp. I think it's kind of sick with that boy. The real question is, Monkey or Godzilla? Who are you voting for? <laughs> so let's get in the first pack. I don't know if there's a card trick or anything to these. Um, there's not that many videos on these cards out there, so I'm not positive. So we're just going to open from the front and go to the back. So first we got a Ralts, Torchic, and like I said, you want the Mewtwo EX, you want the Scyther EX, you want uh, any, honestly, any EX card, any Hollows are solid too. There's some cool reverses in here. All right, we got a Mudkip. We have a Breloom, and we have Lady Outing. <laughs> so nothing out of there. I don't think there's like supposed to be a reverse every single pack or a hollow every pack. There's only five cards in each one of these packs. So it is a smaller pack. Um, I'm super excited though because I've never actually opened the Ruby and Sapphire set by itself. So even though it's in Spanish, there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, Mudkip, Burbuja. I can't speak Spanish. Pujaina, like that card. Right, we have a Pocian Potion. We have a Dawn Fan and we have a Marsh Stomp. No reverses and no hollows so far. There are some sick reverses in this set, so I'd be happy to get some of them if we can. Honestly, I just want an EX card, but probably any decent hollow we'll be happy with. Electric. We got a Wurmple, non hollow. We have. I'm not even going to try to say that. And we have a Grovel, non hollow. So, honestly, for so. So far in the. Th what? Two packs? Three packs that we opened? Yeah, three packs. We've got nothing of note. These packs are just kind of ripping apart, to be honest. Okay. <clears throat> we have a Wingle, a Skitty, Bamfy. And we have another sh 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 Hariyama. Still not a single hollow. Alright. Electric. Come on, let's get an EX here. Puchaina. I like that Mudkip card. Alright, our first actual decent pull. So a reverse Marsh Stomp. And we have a Pokeball. Here's a closer look. Cuchilada. Yeah, Marsh Tom. Pin him with the Cuchilada. All right. Two, three, four, five. So we're halfway through. These packs go by extremely fast because, like I said, they are only five cards per pack. It is nice, though, because they are vintage. So it is exciting to pull them. Let me put Marsh Tom a little bit separate from the rest of the cards. Let's just push this over there. Mudkip. All right. Pita. Oh, our EX pull. All right. We got a hit Hunchan EX. Now it's hard because the Spanish cards, let's see, do we have anything else? Oh, and we have a reverse Ralts, and we have Lanoon. So it's hard because with the Spanish cards, um, it's hard to like figure out what the pricing is because there's not a lot of pricing out there. That's why I knew like going into this video, like setting up prices to show you guys, it's gonna be a little bit hard. But let's take a better look at this card. I honestly think this is one of the coolest Hitmonchan arts of all time, if not the coolest, like that color. It kind of reminds me of the amazing rares um of like the newer sets like vivid voltage and stuff i i love the amazing rares i have quite a few of them so we got if i if i butcher these excuse me uh puño firme gancho alto so i think that's that's tall is it alto tall i took spanish i was in like spanish three at one point that's like the top one uh, it doesn't show there's the back so the backs are the same as the english cards so the EX cards are super good looking. So I have a few of these that I've just bought over time, you know, or gotten out of collections because I never actually opened a Ruby and Sapphire pack. 
So actually pulling an EX card makes me pumped. I'm happy that we actually got one of them. And let's hope for another one. If we can get the Mewtwo, that is the best card in the set. I will throw the prices up for Hitmonchan again if I haven't done it already. Um, I'll throw up the English price and then what I believe could be the the Spanish price. But again, it's, it's hard to figure that stuff out when it's like foreign languages. So let's keep going. Um, if we can pull another EX, I'd be stoked. I'm just happy to open the set. Like, I feel like... I want to open every single set, even if it's different languages. Like, I don't care. It's, it doesn't make the cards any less, like, valuable to me. Coughing. We have a Wingle. And we have a Reverse Skitty. That's a beautiful card. And we have... Oh, that's a sick art for Electric. Karga and Saku... I'm not going to try that. All right. Three packs left. Can we get some last three-pack magic? I would love to get one more EX. Honestly, I'd be happy with that. Or a... Just a good hollow, but I think the EX cards with like the uh, the edges, kind of like the prime cards, where they're all like holographic along the edges of the card, I think is really really neat. Like I feel I feel like that's just like it's super like nostalgic to me because I remember as a kid getting those and thinking like that's the best card I've ever seen. It's probably the most valuable. All right, that that card doesn't even look like Aaron. All right, Ralts. Is that a that's a non hollow. We have an, a new mail and we have a reverse Trico. I love the reverses in this set too. Aliento Venezoso. Tuna Una. <laughs> I don't know Spanish. All right, Marsh Stomp. Sitting by a river. All right, let's put it over here. Two packs left. If we can pull one more EX card, I would be extremely happy. But chances are uh, we won't. But uh, we're going to definitely try. We can get the Mewtwo EX. Top card in the set. Out of 10 packs, though, I don't think so. I think one EX out of 10 packs is good enough. Okay, here we go. Got a Skitty. Got an Electric. Oh, a Hollow Gardevoir. I was looking at my uh, other screen when I saw that. I was like, is that Hollow? The sun is like coming through my blinds and it's like perfectly hitting it. That is a beautiful holographic card. All right, and we have Nose Pass. Here we go. All right, let's leave this up. I feel like the Ruby and Sapphire set, the EXs and the Hollows, I feel like they're super different and like in their own rights y'all got swirls or no oh there is a swirl can you guys see it right there oh we got swirls oh, it's so exciting whenever you get a hollow like an, especially like an old vintage hollow now it's the ruby and sapphire isn't super vintage but it is vintage though i just see one it's kind of okay so if you look here you see the swirl right there there's a little swirl right below it i'm gonna try to get the light to catch it i don't know if i can catch it it's like right here about um I can't catch it though with the light. But we have a hollow Gardevoir with a swirl. All right, sorry Marsh, Marsh Stomp, you were our first decent pull, but now you got kind of overtaken by like, a solid hollow and a Hitmonchan. And of course I'll throw prices up for English and what I believe Spanish are probably gonna be, but it's kind of hard to tell, right? All right, last pack. Please, I just want one more hollow. I don't think we're gonna get an EX, but I would love a hollow. All right, Shroomish. Skitty, the EX would be right here. Oh, sorry. And the hollow would be right here. No hollow, Don Fan. And a grovel to end it off. This is exciting, though. I'm super happy that I picked up these packs. Um, that hollow pattern is super pretty with this Gardevoir. That is such a long ability to poke a power. That is long. Explosion de Energia! <laughs> so Gardevoir is about to just explode your mind. Is that like Black Hole or something? Um, here are the two pulls for the day. Out of 10 packs, I'm extremely happy with that. No idea what they are worth, especially in Spanish, but, you know, we had a lot of fun. The reverses may be worth something, I don't know. But that's going to be the video for today. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. If you guys want to, um, I do stream on my Twitch pretty often. I would love to see you guys there, and I'd love the support. Um, I stream every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Saturday. Now, Mondays are the days to be there. They're the Pokemon night. So we're doing Pokemon Coliseum, plus we give away tons of cards, like last week or two weeks ago we gave away i'm trying to think of like i think it's like 150 dollars worth of cards we gave away like a hollow dragonite from fossil or is he fossil yeah he's fossil and then we gave away a venusaur hollow from base we gave away just a ton of cards like make sure you're there if you're there in chat on monday nights um it's you can go check out my twitch and i'll tell you my schedule but it's eight to ten mountain standard time um you'll get free cards like that's just how it goes so please come check it out um you guys are awesome thank you so much for tuning into today's video um tons of fun um you guys are great again before i keep rambling on peace out have a good day
Thank you.